Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mishnah Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to use some cool techniques to get a dreamy, angelic look inside of DaVinci Resolve. So, the first thing that we have here is this nice shot of Miss Allie Taylor looking fabulous. You see we're shot up against a white background, aka a cloudy sky, you know, the giant softbox in the sky as they say. And this is going to make it really easy for this look, but you can do it with any sort of thing and sort of, you know, make your own look with it. But this is just a really nice way to get this really dreamy sort of like fashion, you know, high high fashion, etc. type stuff that people like. So we're going to add a serial node with Alt S and then a layer node with Alt L right after that. In this bottom node, we're going to drag a Gaussian blur on top of it. You see it's making it all nice and blurry. We're going to make this all the way blurry. Change our border type to reflection so you can see we get nice sharp borders on there. And then we're going to desaturate it all the way just because that's lots of fun. Now, this right now is not a very fashionable look. So what we're going to do is right click on the layer node, go to composite mode and click on screen. And now you can see, ooh, look how dreamy that is. Now a cool way with doing it this way is you can adjust how much you want your shadows to be, you know, dreamied up and how much you want your highlights to. So if you want really dreamy shadows, but you want, you know, a little bit more clarity in your highlights, you just move your curves around and that'll do it for you. So that's really cool. Or you want to clean up your shadows? just have a little bit of light wrap around on the highlights. You can do that too. Very cool. I like, I like being real milky. So that is, you know, that is very, very cool in my book, I think. So then after that, you can do any sort of normal color grading that you want. So you can add a LUT if you want. And of course, use one from the infamous house LUTs pack. And we'll do Murky Waters will be a cool one. Yeah, that's pretty fashionable. Or, you know, it's sad and rainy. Oh, yeah, that is a very cool, like, that's a very L.A. vlogger type look. One more, Nicolar. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. But, you know, you can do any sort of treatment that you want. And, of course, you still can do normal adjustments to your original image. So say you wanted to, especially since we have this softening, I would normally never do this to a lady, but you can... You can make your camera look more expensive and just set your midtone detail crazy. And since we have all that other washy out stuff, that's going to make it real, you know, cool and dimensional looking. Let's see, can we turn? Yeah, so you can see. Before, you can hit Alt Shift Z to go to actual size. So before, you know, it's normal and nice and smooth looking. But you add that and it's, oh, punch. And normally that'll bring out like nastiness on your subject, but Ali is pretty enough that you can pull it off and. You know, we also have all this other blurriness going around. So it really makes it stand out and cool and expensive looking, which is always nice. If that isn't blurry enough for you, which it should be, you can always just add more serial nose also under here and squip up up crazy. But I think that's a little bit too much for me. We're going to keep it nice and normal like that. So, I mean, if that doesn't look desktop, backgroundy, you know, fashion, mall, etc., I don't know what is. Kitten. Add some saturation. And since this is a warm LUT on top, we can cool down the original image. Look at that. That is cool. So just like that, we've taken a shot that anyone, any idiot can get. Just go outside on a cloudy day, no lights, just just a camera and a pretty girl. And then make it look, you know, like you spent some money on it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to help support these, go check out the Meester Media Patreon page, links for which are in the description below, where you can get the power grade from this as well as the original source footage to play around with as you please, just in case you don't have any footage of someone against, you know, a cloudy sky. Also, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. It's free, so there's no reason to not subscribe. Check out meastermedia.com slash products where there's some free stuff and some not free stuff. Like you saw the house let's pack, got carnival power grades. We got, you know, all sorts of light leaky goodness and lens junkie stuff and, you know, free stuff, which is cool. Last but not least, be sure to go and have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, I'm Theo with Meester Media. We have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. Surprise, bonus tip for those of you that stuck around. So I was playing around with footage, trying to come up with another tutorial idea right after I recorded the last one and stumbled across this. So it's it's the exact same thing as we were doing before. So I'll do 
this alt s and then add a Gaussian blur here and just blur it all the heck and change this to reflection except for this time well let me first of all turn the saturation to zero and make sure this is set to screen so you see this looks pretty bad in this shot because of of the way it is but what if we just wanted to make it look like there was fog in here so what we do to make it look like this shot is foggy when it's not as you can see well it just looks there you go as you can see in the flat shot it's not foggy you know we had a fog machine on set but oh well you know aside from the point so what we can do to make it look like there's fog is bring the highlights down in the curves and bring the mid-tones up so we just get fog you know in the shadows here or wherever we want it so that is a very cool thing so you can see we get this awesome you know foggy appearance which is very cool and then you know if you want to add more contrast after that to play around i'm not sure if that'll work with this yeah that kind of gets a little bit bright but you, know, you can do anything, anything you want with that. That is a very cool thing that I just figured out about. So if you want to play with that, you can. Once again, thanks for sticking around the tutorial. Yeah, you know, bonus tips are always fun. Once again, I've been with Mr. Meteor. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.